Drew and Stu are on the air. Ready? Ready? Whether you're fading with Drew or riding with Cam, this is the place to get your weekly NFL picks. Presented by Sports Interaction, Canada's sportsbook. Everything you got, let's go! Hello and welcome to Super Wild Card Weekend on the Drew and Stu podcast. I'm Drew Livingstone, that's Cam Stewart. Cam, uh, what a week last week for you. 14-2, and two. round of applause, Barry Horowitz, your best <laughs> week of the season. Um, yeah, less trolls this week, Drew. How it's about crazy. More like, hey, I love you guys, instead of, you guys are horrible. Your yeah, it's just, we both started seven and one, and then all of a sudden it was like, "Oh, wait a second, Cam's going, Cam's going, Cam's going." <laughs> Drew fell to eight and eight somehow. Uh, the last eight games just killed me. If uh, I listened and then you to you on going. Pittsburgh too, I would have gone sixty. You would, game. yeah, you you would have went three and zero in your best Cleveland. bets. I told you. What are you doing, to Deshaun Watson? <laughs> I, I got to be honest you, with you. Who 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 do I hate more, Drew, this year? I would say Cleveland's actually Cleveland and Houston are a push, and the and the commies are like down there. Well, the Browns were good week. to us at the beginning of the season. Yes. against spread though, so. Yeah, they were. Um, yeah, I mean, it's funny though, you're 14 and two and one of your losses is one of your best bets. That's just the way it works. Um, but yep. who cares? 14 and two, you can't be upset with that no matter how it comes. Never. Um, so you win the season cam, uh, smoked me, uh, I'm so. not going to ask you to eat banana peels and do it. That's more. Well, of I already stuff. owe you Eating two pounds doctor. of wings and two beers because green yeah. Bay f- f- decided to just shove oh, trainers oh, yeah. that come on the I field. Forgot. Oh, my side bets are looking quite well this year, Drew. I think you might have to buy a chicken factory or a coop and and, and start breeding. Can you believe that, Cam? The trainer comes on. He's like, hey, watch out, man. I got to check on my running back. And the guy's like, what are you doing? Shoving me out of the way. I'm like, what? Is this? like oh, my God. Just brain dead I'm, move. I'm happy. I'm just happy for Detroit that they've made progress. And I, I'll tell you one thing, Drew, with the way that division looks, don't be surprised. Like, Rodgers... He does his old sad routine at the end of the year. Whoa, oh, know, I know. Woe is me. Feel I'm bad so, for me. Oh, oh, the old Aaron Rodgers end of the year speech. We've heard it, pal. Anyway, if Detroit does anything well, like they could win that division next year for fun. Like if they if they get a couple more defensive guys, like it's yeah. that team's going to be all right. So you're telling me you don't feel bad for Mr. $50 million a season, Aaron <laughs> oh, Rodgers? Yeah. And, uh... no, the, the, he'll just go to the Amazon and lick some toads and drink some friggin' <laughs> whatever the hell he does. In the like, yeah, we're a few players away. Uh, I just don't know if I want to do it anymore. Or we'll see. I kept this jersey. Like, okay. it's a, it's a, it's a, <laughs> you're so right. It's just, it, how annoying is it? Like, honest to God, I'm so sick and tired of these guys, like with their woe is me stuff. Like, you made so much money. Oh, we always get there. Here's the problem, Aaron. I'm going to say one thing. You might be a great quarterback, but elite players put their team over the top you always lose games you need to win that's well, the bottom line and like that's i bad. always thought rogers was like the alpha but like he doesn't seem like a good leader no. to me anymore oh, like he oh, doesn't seem like a guy that i'd follow he's, through into a war he's the with. opposite of a yeah. leader like he's all like he he rips oh yeah that was that guy's fault it was that guy's fault that guy's fault yeah imagine working with this guy you'd be losing your mind you like go, that Drew interception did. Drew edited threw. it wrong it was drew's fault yeah. cam, cam cam walked away before we were done the show like he'll he'll, he'll sell you the Sell you down the river. That's the interception he threw Cam to Cam to towards Christian Watson was oh, a terrible yeah. throw. He underthrew yeah, by like 15 yards, and the safety just came over. And he's like, "Oh, I didn't see the safety going there." He's under. You know what, Drew? Have you noticed a pat- pattern? He's underthrown a lot of guys this year. Yeah, he's and big but then he blames the receivers. Yep. Um, it's the receivers' fault. Um, okay, yep. let's take a look back before we get into this week's Super Wild Card Weekend at our preseason predictions. Uh, a lot of good hits, Cam. Uh, you had the Bengals win the division. Good job. You had the Bills win in the division. Good job. Yep. Uh, but you had the Chargers and the Colts in the AFC winning those divisions. So uh, Chargers, Chargers were close. Colts, eh, not a very good pick. I think we all made mistakes. We with both the Colts believed in Matt year. Ryan. I had yes, the Colts yes, as well. So I, uh, I, did, I said the Bengals were going to miss the playoffs. So uh, I think that's the biggest gaffe uh, uh, on the board. Cut it, cut it, cut his mic. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I was like, yeah, the Bengals are going to have Super Bowl hangover. They're going to miss yeah, the playoffs. The best, um, best team in the league, one of them. <laughs> you had the Don't Saints worry, making the playoffs, uh, winning the division over to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Yeah. Uh, but one credit we do get, we all picked the Eagles to win the NFC East. Uh, it was a trendy pick, but we all picked it. Um, mm-hmm. We were also dead wrong on the Vegas Raiders, but we were right. None of us had the Broncos in the playoffs, and it looked like we were all right. So we all we didn't believe the Russ Wilson hype train. Thanks to you, I think you convinced us off that. Um, yeah, yeah. And then our Super Bowl predictions, both still alive. You had Philly uh, and the Bills, Buffalo winning. Still, probably looks like the best pick out of the three of us when we made it. Uh, Tommy Tiebreaker had San Fran and Buffalo, which looked good. Mm-hmm. Um, and I had Buffalo and Tampa Bay. San- which- San Fran and Buffalo is still very real. And Tampa Bay, I think they probably lose, but yeah, at least yeah. you got the team. Like, well, let's give Bagman a little bit of credit there. San Francisco, like, he didn't know all these oh, things no. were going to happen. Though, if you go Brock back Birdie. and watch, he was just like, yeah, Trey Lance sucks. Jimmy G's going to take over after week five. Like, he didn't say it was because of an injury, but he was like, Jimmy well, G's going to take over. And if he said Brock Purdy was eventually going to be their quarterback, we should uh, get him on as uh, with a crystal ball. That's- yeah, exactly. Um, all right, Cam, let's get into the, the games this week. Um, sure. Your Seattle Seahawks. 
getting in. What a game. I could when they missed that field goal oh, the, I, know. Time, I was like, oh, it's done. It's done. Like that's the way it crumbles. Like <laughs> yes, I know, buddy. Myers. Um, and then Baker Mayfield was like, no, here's a gift. Uh I'll throw an interception. And I couldn't believe your DB is pointing the ball at um what's his uh your former library, Bobby Wagner. He's just pointing the ball instead of running up the field for a pick six, he just points at him and runs out of bounds like to shove it in his face. And I was like, that might cost them, but they, I don't uh, I don't like that. The field. I don't like yeah. that. Bobby Wagner gave us years of service. That's the whole problem with this athlete. See me and you played on a team and you're on another team and he he I know, sure, he's gonna talk hype. He's on the, he's a ram now. I'll still give you respect. Like 100%. I don't understand throwing guys under the bus that you wouldn't won, won a Super Bowl with. But anyway, some of these young players just don't get it. And how about Geno Smith Cam breaking the franchise record for passing yards in a season? When I when I saw that stat come up, I was like, What? It's like 4,260. Really like, that's not even that much. How is that the record? And I look, Russ Wilson's always 4,200, 4,100, 4,000, 4,100, 4,000. Um, he was never like a 5,000 yard passer, but it's Wanna just know crazy. why? Because he used to run too. Remember, he used to run a lot too. When he was mobile and stuff, he'd take off when the plays broke down almost every time. But let's give Geno Smith credit. And by the way, Drew, what a year for Seattle uh, and my cats, Detroit. Like, Seattle gets Denver's draft pick now. So here's the deal Denver's doing nothing. They're paying Russell Wilson. Seattle is in the playoffs and gets a five pick. Thank you. Yeah, it's amazing. I mean, they were hoping for the Broncos <laughs> to lose that game, but uh, the Chargers decided to rest Herbert in the fourth quarter, but then play everybody else. And then Mike Williams and Joey Bosa got hurt. And I was like, what are you doing, Staley? Staley you're like the up. five seed already, and you're playing your best players. Now they might not have Mike Williams this weekend. Like, what an absolute Here's, here's another thing, Drew. Um, just, to, just to clarify your excellent point, all the players that you have playing have a history of injury. Like Keenan Allen caught a fourth quarter touchdown. I was like, why is Keenan Allen in the football game? Keenan Allen could like break his leg at any point. Like <laughs> it should, it should have been the he missed 10 weeks. guys and Josh Palmer. Right. It, it should have been Chase Daniel throwing to Josh Palmer, yes, Donald yes. Parham, just throwing the towel, yes. just run the football with Kelly all game. More, like who more cares? More Parham. Yeah. <laughs> Oh man, I, I just couldn't believe it. I was like, Staley should be oh, fired after this. Honestly, like, how do you, you let your best defensive player get hurt, and then then your best receiver get hurt just because for no reason. Like yeah. it's, uh, but yeah, okay. Let's get into Seattle San Fran Cam. <laughs> yeah, uh, Brock Purdy hosting the Seahawks. Uh, they're ten point favorites at home. The public likes San Fran by ten. The over under is forty two and a half. Geno Smith uh, and Seattle struggled against San Fran both times this season. Do those struggles continue, Cam? You're the Seattle whisperer. You tell me. I guess, I don't know, Drew, maybe, I don't, I don't know how you do it starting next week. Do you want to do totals and sides as the game? Yeah, we can do totals and sides, sure. Yeah, I, I, I'm just going to, if I don't like a side, I'm not going to pick it. I might do some on well, some games. Well, you have to, Cam. We're forcing you to pick a side. Oh, oh no, I mean, a total. Can I pick, I'll just, I'll take Seattle plus 10. Okay. okay. Seattle plus 10 in this game. <laughs> this guy kills me. <laughs> Man, you're funny. Uh, anyway, Drew, yeah, I think it's too many points. And I know San Francisco's defense is lethal, but here's the deal. Seattle's in the playoffs. They're kind of playing with house money. I've seen this movie before. I think San Francisco probably wins this game by a touchdown. Asking them to win by more than 10 is a lot. I think more people will be on San Fran. Hey, I'll tell you one thing about Seattle. They most of the time play San Francisco pretty tough. Like they just, it's one of those things, divisional game. It's rate crazy this week too, Drew. All the divisional games that we have, like it teams is. that know each other. But I'll take the ten with Seattle. As for the total, I lean over, but I don't love it. Yeah, for the total cam, I'll lean under just because I don't think Seattle scores more than ten points in this football game. Um, if you look at the two games this year combined, Seattle has one offensive touchdown, and it came with three minutes left in garbage time when they were down by twenty points. Um, Seattle can't score in the San Fran defense cam. And I don't think that trend changes this week. I think it's going to be a 31 to six. Like, I think it's just San Fran blows them out. It could, could Seattle score and maybe make a game of this for sure. It's a division game. It's hard to beat someone three times. Um, but the last two games don't give me very much confidence in Seattle. And they struggled against Baker Mayfield and the Rams last week. They, they did. Never, never mind are, Brock Purdy. Things um, are going to change, Drew. I'm just saying with a 10-point point spread, they could be down 14 and get a back. Oh, for, for uh, sure. Robert. And that's what they got when their one offensive touchdown. They were down by uh, 13 points, and they got the, the touchdown, and they covered the number. Even though it was only their only one touchdown in the game, they still covered. Um, but, yeah, I'll give me the San Francisco 49ers. And where do you think mystery tiebreaker man is? Oh, on 49ers all the way. Oh, how'd you know? It's just uh, <laughs> it's my favorite game show. What's Bagman picking? And, and I usually Fonzie win. Favorite? Is that we call yeah. them? Yeah, the yeah. Fonz. Um, yeah. Anyways, Cam, uh, we, I believe in San Fran. Mystery Tiger Man believes in San Fran, and you're going with your Seahawks, and you're going to sprinkle on the money line because I know you too well. Uh, you'll just do it just because you have to because of your heart. To. Yeah. You have San to. Fran will probably win though, but I, I think they'll win by a touchdown. I think Seattle will cover. Yeah, and it's the first game to kick off the weekend, so either you're very happy or you're just sad, and then you, you watch the Saturday night exactly. game. Exactly. Um, all right, Cam, the Saturday night game. The Chargers going to Jacksonville to take on the Jags. 
Uh, Chargers, one and a half point road favorites currently. Uh, Mike Williams, we don't know if he's going to play. Bosa, we don't know if he's going to play because that's Staley nonsense. Um, if Mike Williams is out, I love the Jacksonville Jaguars in the spot. But I like the Titans last week. You liked the Titans last week. The Titans deserved to win that game if it wasn't for Dobbs fumbling the football. I, I mean, I, it, they just they blew it. They had the perfect game plan. Keep Jacksonville off the field. Just keep running. They had gave Henry over thirty carries. Yep. Um, and they just blew it at the end with a crazy turnover. Um, so where Cam, you want me to start this one? Uh, sure. I actually thought Dobbs played pretty well for a third or hundred percent. Besides that fumble, he, uh, <laughs> yeah, like, he, he did yeah, exactly what he was supposed to do. People are like, wait, wait, what? You, you drafted Malik Willis and a guy that you have basically on the practice squads playing better than the quarterback you drafted <laughs> in the first round, but you can start Drew. Uh, yeah, Cam, I'm going to go with the LA chargers here in the spot. Uh, I don't like Staley's head coach, but I like Justin Herbert and this team with the experience they have not playoff experience for Herbert, but everyone else. To get over the hump and win this game, I think this season the Jags are playing with house money. They won the division when no one expected them to. They're in the playoffs, no one expected them to be here. Trevor Lawrence took that step everyone wanted to see. So this is a successful season for them, regardless if they win this football game or not. The fact they're hosting a playoff game is a bonus. I just don't think this is their time just yet. The Jags defense looked impressive against the Titans, but this isn't the Titans offense. This is the Chargers offense. They can move the football with the best of them. So give me the Chargers to win this game. And it's only one and a half points. So I have to take the Chargers side. I agree with you. I think it's going to be a really tight game. I think the Chargers are probably going to win by three, maybe more points in this game than mm -hmm. anticipated. I know the line's gone up from the time of taping by a half point. I expect it to move up even further, probably to around 48 and a half. Uh, I'm, going to take, uh, I'm going to take the lightning bolts as well. I don't like the way Staley handled that situation, even though I like starters coming in for a little bit, get mm -hmm. some continuity, you take them out. That was a really stupid move, especially with guys that have almost had career-ending injuries. But I think they do enough. <laughs> Herbert will step up there uh, in Jacksonville, and I think the Chargers win this game by like a field goal and just barely cover the number. Give me the bolts. I like the pick cam and the total. You like it? You like it? I lean over forty-seven and a half. Yeah. We're just going to do for the record. We'll do sides, but I have a lean to. I have a lean to the over in this. Yeah, yeah. Game. For the record, won't count totals, but yeah. I, uh, I'll lean for the under as well because I just don't. The Jags, they can put up points, but I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't. I don't see them putting up a bunch of points in this football game. So I'll lean under as well. Uh, all right, Cam. Game of the week, probably not. Uh, we don't know if Tua Tunga Viola is going to play, but the Bills are currently 10 and a half point favorites at home. If Tua plays, this line's going to drop to like five and a half, if I had to guess, maybe seven. Uh, I'm going to say seven. It'll, yeah, it'll, it'll so be seven. seven but flat. I'm just saying, if you like the Dolph, if you think Tua is going to play, you bet the Dolphins right now because you're not going to see this line come Saturday or come Sunday afternoon if he plays. Um, Cam, if Tua doesn't play, the Bills win this game 40 to 10. Um, I don't see how Skylar Thompson keeps up with Josh Allen in this football game. He's undefeated at home in the playoffs. What do you think? Also, I'll tell you another thing. I'm going to just give you my prediction right now. Two is not playing, in my opinion. I think it would be crazy. A bad look on the NFL with all the concussions to roll them out. The so NFLPA should sue the sue the Dolphins if they let. I, 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 yeah, this is the thing. Like you guys are talking. Like first of all, it's their fault early because they misdiagnosed the first concussion. And in mm -hmm. my opinion, he had more than two. He looked like he had three well, or yeah, four. He had three year. concussions yeah, in 10 at weeks. At least, at least. And I'm saying we don't even know other stuff because yeah, looked, exactly. that Green Bay game, he was obviously stunned. He shouldn't have been out there playing football. He was throwing balls to like, he didn't see the right color. I'm going to tell you this. I don't think he plays. I think Teddy Bridgewater's finger might be better. It doesn't matter. If that line's nine and a half, what are we getting right now? Ten it might half. go down. It might go down a little bit because they're thinking Skylar Thompson. It'll probably go nine and a half, ten. It doesn't matter. I'm with you, Drew. I love Buffalo Bill. Also, the way Hamlin's getting better, they might roll him out in the field for more emotion. I'll tell you. It, oh, okay. I thought you might... meant like roll on the field playing. I was like, there's no chance. He's no, 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 no. Okay. I mean, roll okay. him on the field for like, but like for no, yeah, like thumbs, thumbs up or something. Up. He's yeah, still in the build in the Buffalo hospital, so maybe they have like a live camera even there, and he's like this on the yeah, screen, right? Exactly. So. Even though I don't know if he's going to be good enough to get out. I don't know that, but I'll tell you one thing. Even with Bridgewater, I don't care. The Bills, they did. Hey. Mac Jones played great. That was probably his best game of the year. And he's still until the like, second half. Yeah, like he... I'm just saying, but he, I've watched him oh, play yeah, all he year played through. Good. Like he played good for him. The bills, if they're motivated in this game, which they will be, and they show up every down, I think they can murder Miami. I think they can win this game by 20 points, 24 points. Yeah. They, the bills only had one practice last week because of all the emotions and everything going on. And, uh, it's like storybook stuff, Cam. The first snap of football for the Bills after the Hamlin injury, and they returned the kick for a touchdown three years and three months after their last kick return touchdown. Like, I love, I know it's so wild, you, you, and like, I love Hines too. Like, I'm, I'm really glad the Bills picked him up. That was a sneaky little acquisition too. He's done good for you guys. I'm He's just saying, like, if you wrote this script, Hollywood would be like, "No, nah, it's too unrealistic." Like, it's yeah, yeah, no. I'd happen. walk in and they go, "Okay, number three, three years, three months, touchdown on the first play." Yeah, like no offense, Rudy or uh, the blind side. Yeah, yeah, this side. is like, unrealistic. This, yeah, that's, like guys ripping up your script going, no, I don't believe you. 
<laughs> um, total Let's cam 44 and a half seems low, but if Skylar Thomas is playing quarterback, I, uh, I have to lean under for the third straight time. I agree with you. I don't know how the Dolphins are going to score points if Thompson starts. That's why well, I would he told, you see Tyreek Hill. He said the Bills better be stretching their hamstrings because he's going to get the ball a lot. I was like, okay. okay. Okay, Tyreek, uh, <laughs> let's settle down over there. Uh, yeah, stretch your hamstrings, Tyreek. Don't worry. How about, how about after your first uh, pattern you run, uh, you'll be pulling your hamstring? How's that sound? I've never seen someone get the ball so much and then complain that they don't get oh, it enough. He it, gets it, eight it, to ten targets a game, and he's I like, I, I want the ball every play. I, I want know. it more. It's well, like, dude, sometimes you're, you're covered. I know yeah, you're like, like you're a wide fast. receiver. You don't just get it every play. <laughs> like, that's anyway, how it works. Don't get me started. Um, all right, yeah. the Giants cam going to Minnesota to take on the Vikings. The Vikings are three-point favorites at home. We saw these teams play three weeks ago when the Vikings won 27 24, uh, and it was a push because it was a three point spread then, too. Um, where are you leaning in this one? This is a tough game for me. No, what? Seven to one at home, Cam. Do they continue that trend? Like, do they win this football game? Everyone's um, on the Giants as the underdog in this spot. I see. That's what I worry about. That's the problem. But we could change later on. Maybe we'll do a little bit of something, props, whatever, Drew. I don't know. Uh, you tell me what's going on because I'm doing a lot of different shows and things like that. And I love working with you, but uh, you'll give me the text if we need to do other things. Six, you know, know, what, know what the Giants are, ladies and gentlemen, just to play devil's advocate. So the Giants are six and one against the spread at home. They're seven and three ATS. And they, they cover on six the and one road. on the road cam. You mean? Yeah. ATS six. Yeah. And yeah, one yeah, on yeah. The road. yeah. 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 yeah you said home. I, I'm saying I'm staying on the road. Did I say home? Yeah, oh, yeah it's man. fine. It's fine. Be, woo, losing my <laughs> mind. Give me the G-Man and Daniel Jones. And this one's for everybody out there. I had a big argument with the guys I do on my other show with Pozzola and, and Mayo. Like, I think Daniel Jones is better than they think he is. I know that we did this ranking. I think he's actually, I, I in my rankings, I do it again. The guy can motor. He's been great this year. If you give him protection, he'll slice you up. As for Minnesota, I don't trust him as a favor. Give me the Giants. I expect them to win by three. Upset. Oh, see, Cam, I'm going the other way. Uh, I love Brian Dable. I love what he did with the Giants this year. I think mm-hmm. re-signing Daniel Jones to an extension is a mistake. Uh, you're just kicking the mediocre can down the road. Hey, he's, hey. He's what decent. You, 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 oh, boy. He's decent. Okay. I'll give him the decent tag, but I just don't – like, you're not winning a Super Bowl with Daniel Jones, in my opinion. Um, so I'm going to go Minnesota. They're 7-1 at home. Uh, it's all one-score games, mostly. They only won one of those games by more than one score. But you see a team three weeks ago – I think they have like they're 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 going to protect their home field cam. They have to win this game by three. I think they can do that at yep. least. So give me the Vikings. I just think they're the better overall team. Like Kirk Cousins can't keep choking, right? Like, he can't just keep doing this. He can't. Just uh, keep he can, as the way you say, Daniel Jones is a a can that you kick down the street. Kirk Cousins can kill, still choke. Yeah, yes. that's fair. Um, and like Justin Jefferson, offensive player of the year tickets, uh, looked really good until two week, the last two weeks. He just decided I'm going to stop catching footballs. Um, so all of a sudden that, that those spreads and those odds are way out of whack. Um, but give me the Minnesota Vikings. Where do you think Mystery Tiebreaker Man is on this one? I think he's going with the Giants due to his oh, uh, ex love of the Bills. You right? are correct. I'm cre- I'm I'm shocked. Usually, uh, he's Fonzie favorite. See, and he's, see he's Drew, I, 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 you tried to, you guys tried to throw, uh, a carpet over the sinkhole there, and I, fe- <laughs> beep, beep, I found it. You just yeah, fell anyway. in. Yeah, just I know what it was. It's, it's due to Beggs Man's allegiance to Dayball and the Bills that I. Uh, well, we don't know who Bagman is. is. You're, you're pretending Bagman's a Bills fan. I, I, me, I, do, I, I don't know who he is. He could be yeah. a serial killer. He could be my neighbor. He could be he could be anybody, Bagman. I don't know if I he could be know. a serial killer. I don't know if we'd use that. Uh, <laughs> but he, um, could, he could be a musician. Fair. He could be a musician. Um, uh, totals 40 and a half cam. I'm going to lean to the over. I don't think both these defenses are any good. You don't, you don't like my bad jokes, Drew, today? I, huh? I, I just... I just I, I just can't give them any credence, Cam. We've got to move oh, on. Okay, sorry. Uh, I'm leaning over. Fun. I'm leaning the total over. Uh, what do you think, Mr. Bagman's band's name is? If he had one, like I don't even know, like the Bagheads. Like I don't know. Is that the favorite. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> chalk. Yeah, just chalk. Chalk man. That's their. That's the number one hit. Hey, hey, number one hit. That's the favorite by chalk. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> that's I love that's that a good guy. one. Actually, we got to go uh, meet whoever Mr. Bagman is one of these days. Hundred um, percent. Total forty and a half. Cam, where are you leaning? Over. Uh, I, I think Jones can, uh, as I said, I'm going to defend Daniel Jones. I, 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 okay, we're not going to have this debate now, but I think he can run for a touchdown. I'm actually going to look at his props for rushing yards over, too. He's taking a page. He's kind of like Josh Allen light, you know, taking off, can do all sorts of those yeah, he's things. Walmart and, Josh Allen. Yeah. No, I, I'll, I'll, no, yeah, I'm not going to say he's Josh Allen. That would be an, a stupid comment, but I think he's, you know, poor man's Josh Allen. He's good. He's uh, give the guy time. He's fine. And he could run. He's a very athletic quarterback. So I think he's going to do fine. Drew, I see points in this game. I see like the giants winning like a 27 to 26 type of game, 27, 24 just slips over the number. 
Okay, I'm gonna give you four quarterbacks. You rank them the way you want. Uh Goff, Geno Smith, Daniel Jones, Derek Carr. Great, great question. I want to see where he lands in your rankings because we know Goff uh, is like 15th. So um I'm gonna go Jones, Goff, Carr, Smith. So you think Daniel Jones is better than Derek Carr? Yes, I do. Wow, I strongly disagree with that, but I, I like that you you like the mobile quarterback style. I think that's like you you love the college. I just think style. he's just dis- no, what he is. He's also I'm gonna I know people can, are gonna write in call me an idiot, whatever. Guys, a lot of his numbers and stats were like in his rookie year, it was god awful. He used to turn over the ball all the time. Take a look at the progression of him. I think he deserves. Here's the thing, Drew. I'm not gonna say he's gonna win a Super Bowl, but I think he deserves one more small contract. And if he continues to grow, then I wouldn't sign him to like some crazy. So you're saying like deal. two years mid level yes. contract. Yes, that's what he deserves. He deserves a little bit more than he, that, but anyway. I agree. If you can't the Giants get, like, are in the some, playoffs, for God's sakes. And the, know, look at the I know, Eagles' I record know. in the, in the but Dallas. But, like, but so is Geno Smith in Seattle. I can't see them bringing him back, so uh, we'll the, see. The difference is, though, the Giants, they had no, no receivers and stuff. At least they still fair, have fair. DK Metcalf and everybody, and they have to deal with What do you mean? Billy? $18 million man Kenny Galladay. He had a, guy's a, a touchdown catch last uh, yeah, week. I arrest my case. <laughs> yeah. uh, I laughed at that graphic. They were like, he only needs... I saw it was like he was it 82 catches 70, or yeah, 82 catches? catches to get his five hundred thousand dollar <laughs> bonus this weekend. Yeah, that I was, was like, awesome. Oh, he might get it. Um yeah. all right. Cam, uh the Ravens going to Cincinnati to take on the Bengals. Lamar Jackson, we don't know if he's back. It looks like he will be. I don't see how he doesn't play this game. If you're uh, unless he's just holding out because he wants a contract, but I think he comes in and plays. He this might game. be holding this team hostage. And it, I I mentioned this weeks ago, and now all this stuff is actually kind of getting closer to true, but I think he plays. The question is. Who cares? Yeah, he's been out for so well, long. Does it really matter? It, I mean, it's better than Anthony Brown. Uh, yes, it's so a lot better than Anthony Brown. Bengals are six and a half point favorites. Cam, the Ravens beat the Bengals outright last time Lamar played them this season. Um, if Lamar plays, I like the plus six and a half because I think the Ravens also rested defensive starters. Like it wasn't a real game last week. It was just the Bengals That's true. playing against like scrimmage against practice players. Um, I think the Ravens defense has their starters back. Uh, almost 80, well, sorry, 80% of the public is on Cincinnati minus six and a half and the line hasn't moved, which shows me that I like the alarm bells are going off. So I think it'll be a close game. The Bengals, I think win, but I think it'll be like 24, 20, something like that, especially if Lamar plays. So give me the bang, the Ravens plus six and a half, but I'll take the Bengals on the money line. I'll take the, I agree with you. I think the Bengals and teasers are safe. I don't think Baltimore can win or on the money line in a money line parlay, but I like Cincinnati in this spot. As of now with Burrow, I don't know who's going to be playing for Baltimore right now. If it stays under seven, I'll take the Bengals. I don't like the fact that uh, everybody and their mothers on the Bengals. That's a problem. It might be changed later on. We'll see. Uh, I Damn, just we said it earlier in the year. We we disobeyed the 80% rule that one week, and we were completely wrong on like all three of the picks. I, and, I, and you know me. I, I was the one who like enforces the rule. So I yes. got that double double shame on me. Okay. Next game, I don't care what the I, spread is. You know where I'm going. Well, uh, we we need to figure out where Mr. Tiger Command is mm. on the Bengals-Ravens game oh, first. Oh, can I, can I guess? Yeah. Bengals. Correct. Uh, <laughs> three for three on Mr. Tiger Command, Cam. Uh, uh, 14 yeah, I, I, did, I didn't tell you. He's this. really my roommate. Yeah. Hey, mystery bag man, how you doing? Uh, yeah, he's, uh, he's can, back can there. You it's, it's, it's Cam texting me from his girlfriend's <laughs> phone. It's just like, haha, here's here's the picks. Um, all right, Cam. The total in this game is 43 and a half to uh tight divisional Over? matchup. I said 24 uh, 20, that would be right on the number. It so I think be. I have to Actually, lean you'd, under. you'd win by the hook. It's 40. Yeah, but I, I'd, I'd still lean under because I think it, okay. might, it could be 23 20 for all I know. I have no, I, no opinion. That number is a good number, good total. Yeah, I won't be betting the total. I'm just saying, if you had to lean, Cam, over or under, pick one. I'd go over and I tease the Bengals to a pick them over 36 and a half on a teaser. Done. Ooh, Bengals money like line it. parlay. I like it. There you go. And then the Ravens upset them and blow them out. That's what yep. happened. Um, all right, Cam. The Dallas Cowboys going to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. I kind of feel like we're going to be on the same side here, but we'll see. Um, the Dallas Cowboys, three point road favorites. 56% of the public is on Tampa. So it's pretty split, surprisingly, because usually the Cowboys fans hammer the Cowboys side of the game, but that's not the case in this one. Tom Brady, 7-0 and against the Dallas Cowboys, including a win this year where they held them to Dallas to three points. Prescott leads the league in interceptions despite missing five games, becoming the first quarterback to ever do that. <laughs> like, does rubber hit the road here? Do the Cowboys get back on track? They did lead the league in points in the last eight weeks uh, on average. It's a and spite pick. Going? It's a pick out of spite. And you know I'm going with Dallas. Here's the mm. thing. Dallas has one thing. Okay, sure, it's Tom Brady. But the thing is, if Dallas comes up with some damn defensive schemes and blitzes properly, Tom Brady's going to be on the ground the whole game. And I'll tell you one another thing. 
I don't know how Tampa Bay won this division this year. And, and it's un- unbelievable to me that they could actually win this game and play with house money. Like they have a good matchup, like for a team that doesn't even deserve to, but they- okay. I remember back in the day when Seattle won their division with a losing record and they beat New Orleans. Remember in that crazy game, mm-hmm. the Marshawn Lynch run over game, like very hurricane famous. or what's called yeah. the, the earthquake, the beast yeah, mode the earthquake. earthquake. Yeah. yeah. Beast mode earthquake game. So anything could happen. Here's the thing though. One thing I like about Dallas drew, and I don't t- take this stuff lightly. I was on the commanders last week and they murdered them with rookie Sam Howell. That was the most embarrassing performance ever. Jerry Jones was pissed. I could tell you one thing going into this game, Dallas will be pre- prepared. And another thing, if they're not, Mike McCarthy, as we talked about, I don't care about whatever. Jerry Jones, if they lose to Tampa Bay, McCarthy's gone, in my opinion. I don't care about the record, what they did this year. It's all about advancing in the playoffs. Mike McCarthy, come up with a game plan. You got Pollard. You got a great offense. That defense come up with blitzes. Cowboys by seven. And if they don't win this game, I could tell you McCarthy's looking for, uh, he's on the unemployment line looking for a job. Do you not agree? Oh, totally. McCarthy's gone if they lose this game. Um, Cam... I'm with Dallas too. Uh, I just like Tampa Bay barely beats the Saints, barely beats the Carolina oh, Panthers, it, it, barely beats it, it, Arizona without Kyler, uh, barely beats the Rams early in the year. Like it's just so many games where they escape despite playing so poorly. Their mm-hmm. defense has not looked good this year. Their offense just woke up last week, um, and they and they played their stars in the first half. And Atlanta was still keeping up with them, like Atlanta was. Um, it, listen, Dallas has no excuse to not win this whole game. They're better offensively, better defensively. The only edge Tampa has is Tom Brady. Like, let's be honest. And even that, like, is that even an edge anymore in the playoffs? Probably because of the experience and he's seven and zero against the Cowboys. Like if yeah. Tampa wins this game, we're not going to sit here next week and be like, Oh, we're so shocked. Brady won a playoff game. Like we won't be shocked, but Dallas on paper should smoke these guys. Like it should I be agree. a 31 to 10, 31 to 17 win for Dallas. So I have to go with the Cowboys despite everything in my head saying you can't pick against Tom Brady. You can't trust Prescott. You, you know can't what? trust McCarthy. It's at some point the streak's going to end. I think this is it. Like, don't forget, Brady lost the playoff game last year too. Yes, and then and and and, and let's remember they were getting murdered in that game by the Rams before the miracle comeback. But then they, yeah, they took a crazy that's comeback. That's the thing. Again. But that's uh, the old Tom. But that's the thing. Like they were, they were. It was actually probably one of the worst playoff performances ever. And that's a year down the line with a guy that's taken more hits and a team that doesn't look any better than they were. They actually look way worse. Drew, we got to take Dallas. I know going against home dogs is it, it hurts. But we got to stick to the plan. I think Dallas is a much better team. I think Dallas is dangerous, to be honest with you. If they get by this game, I think what I think San Francisco should be on on check. They got to worry about Philadelphia has are limping into the playoffs. They don't look that good. If Dallas finds a way to beat mm-hmm. Tampa Bay and get some momentum, this is a dangerous football team. Give me the damn Cowboys. I don't want to see the, Tampa Bay around next week. The issue for you, Cam, if we go down the line, uh, if your predictions come true, it'll be Philly against the Giants next week, which would be a dream matchup for Philly. Um, it'll be San Fran against Dallas, which is not a good matchup for Dallas. Um, so, yeah, it's uh, that's tough. Um, okay, Cam, get into our best bets, our gold, silver, and bronze. You can take totals. You can take uh, sides, money line spreads. You, t- you tell me. It doesn't matter. It's only six games. Um, oh, we're doing it now? I thought we were going to do it later. Okay, no, no, we're uh, only going to do a second show if we need to. Uh, uh, that's what okay. we said. So, uh, Cam, if you want me, I can start. I know what if bronze. I change something, Drew, I'll tweet it out, too. Or, yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah, you know what I mean? It's just because it's really hard for me to do these things. I do my opinion swings. I'm going to go. Uh, do you want me to start with bronze? I'm going to sure. go with bronze. Uh, I'm going to take uh, the Seattle Seahawks plus 10 with my bronze Ooh. pick against San Francisco. I, I Hey, my two of my buddy, best buddies are Niner fans. I know they're a better team, much better. They might blow Seattle out. It's just 10 points. It's Brock Purdy in a playoff game. And I think the back door sw- slides wide open with Seattle. Maybe they lose by a touchdown. Uh, give me the Seahawks as my bronze. My bronze pick game will be the Baltimore Ravens plus six and a half. If Lamar Jackson plays, obviously I don't know if he's going to play or not. I think he is. Uh, it's too bad if he doesn't for me because there's not going to be another show. Um, so give me the Baltimore Ravens bronze. I love picking against 80% of the public. Uh, rule of thumb. So I'm doing it, Cam, plus six and a half. What is your silver pick? I'm going to go with the lightning bolts as my silver pick. The Chargers minus one and a half against Jacksonville. Uh, I know Jacksonville has been great. Hey, they're my friends. I, I bet on a lot of cats. They had a you know nice little run there and they were good. But I think the Chargers, despite guys being banged up, this is a game that they could win. I think they should win this game by three or four points and just cover the number in advance. So give me the Chargers as my silver. Uh, Cam, I'm going to hop on board with you as my silver pick will be the Chargers as well. Um, if Mike Williams and Joey Bosa both don't play, that's uh, not good for us. But I think the Chargers can win this game. I think the Jags, they're happy with how their season went. Yeah, they want to win. Doug Peterson has experienced the playoffs, but 
I just think Herbert and that offense will be too much for them to stop. So give me the Chargers minus one and a half as my silver. Now, gold? your best bet of the week, Cam, is what? Could you start the gold, Drew? Sure. Uh, yeah. My gold will be the Minnesota Vikings. Uh, you're, people are crazy. Uh, everyone's on the Giants. Everyone's on Brian Dable. Everyone's saying, look at the road spread record. The Vikings choke under pressure, all this stuff. I was going to go Dallas, uh, but I'm not picking against Brady in my gold pick. So I'll give me Kirk Cousins and the Vikings. I'm crazy. It's primetime spot for Kirk Cousins. He never performs, but you know what? I'm doing it. This will be my biggest bet of the week. Vikings minus three, Cam. I like three games, but I got to pick one. I like Buffalo minus 10 and a half. I like the Giants plus three, and I like the Dallas minus three. I got to pick I got to pick the right one. Give me Buffalo Bill at minus 10 and a half. I hate to lay these type of numbers, but I so just you don't think, think Miami, Tua plays then. That's a, that's why no, you're I don't, that. I don't think Tua plays. And I also think Buffalo, I don't care if Tua plays, if it goes down even seven, they could still, they could still beat these guys. Uh, Miami limped into the playoffs. That win versus the Jets was ridiculous. The way they covered the spread. <laughs> what there. a terrible football game. Oh, Buffalo, honest to God. Like, and I, I, I really want Buffalo to lay it on thick here. So they can win this game by double digits. It's 10 and a half right now. If Tua doesn't play and it's Skylar Thompson, the bills might run these guys out of orchard park, but I also, also lean Giants plus three in Dallas. Very hard to narrow it down this week, Drew, but that's my goal. Buffalo yeah, minus it, 10 and a half. If I had a mineral pick cam, it would be the Seattle San Fran under. Uh, it was like my platinum or copper or whatever. Yeah. Uh, just because I don't think Seattle scores enough points, uh, but they might keep it close. It could be 23 13 and it's still under the number. So uh, give me the under in that game. Um, all right, Cam, let's uh, quickly go through the bracket just because I'm, I'm curious now your bracket. Uh, don't worry about mine. So right now, if your predictions came true, it'd be Philly against New York, Dallas against San Fran. Who do you have winning those matchups? I have Dallas. Me, I have Philly going to the Super Bowl. I almost want to hedge out. I think Dallas can beat them. And well, it would I be Philly San... against the Giants, though. In oh, Philly two. against the Giants, I'll take Philly, like barely. Okay. but And I'll take uh, San Francisco against Dallas, barely. Okay, so then you got San Fran versus Philly in your NFC Championship game. Who are you taking there? Philly. Ooh. So you're no, no, standing... no, 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 no. San Fran. Oh, oh. I, 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 I can't. I got to go against my. I, I picked this stuff at the start of the year. I think San Fran is that defense, man. I can't get over how good that. Defense so you trust is. Brock Purdy though? That's the only yes, issue I, no, with me. Brock Purdy's fine. He just has to make. Just don't. He's make Jimmy mistakes. G with some picks. That's it. He's Jimmy G, but he throws he's interceptions. Fine. He's fine. Um, they got the great defense. He's, okay, he's so okay. Cam changing his preseason pick from Philly to San Fran in the NFC. And on the AFC side, if your predictions come true, it'll be Chargers Chiefs and Bills Bengals. Who are you picking there? Chargers to upset the Chiefs, Bills Ooh. to beat the Bengals. So you got LAC going to Buffalo in Buffalo the Buffalo to win game. and Buffalo meets San Francisco in the Super Bowl. So you're going with Tommy Tiebreaker's uh Super Bowl prediction preseason was Buffalo over San Fran and uh, so right now, as of today, you would take the Bills over the 49ers in the Super Bowl? Uh, I would, but it's it wouldn't be any uh, – that would be a – what a super, what a contrast. That would be an amazing Super Bowl, actually. Buffalo and San Francisco, that would be yeah, great. That'd be, uh, yeah. I, I, I'm also very scared, Drew. I think the Dallas Cowboys are the one team that could trip up uh, San Francisco. I like them better than Philadelphia, my original pick at the start of the year. I think Dallas beats Tampa Bay. I think they might go on a heater. But I think the Eagles have we'll the easiest path to a Super Bowl I've ever seen for an NFC team. I think it's a joke, the NFC versus the AFC. Like the quarterbacks on the list, you're like – Jones, Smith, Cousins, Purdy, if the Eagles, Prescott. Like if, if the Eagles go to the Super Bowl against Buffalo, this is I hope Buffalo ends that streak because I think Buffalo will beat Philadelphia definitely. That that game would be like the Patriots Eagles game where it'd be like forty four forty. It'd be it, that'd be a shootout. Uh, both teams would be scoring a lot of points. Um, I'm not confident. Like I want the Bills to make the Super Bowl, but I guess they did fall stumble into the playoffs last year too, and then they looked unbelievable. It wasn't for the mm-hmm. thirteen seconds, but. I don't want to get in front of the Chiefs right now if I'm anybody. Um, but uh, we'll see, Cam, uh, come Super Bowl. What we're predicting. Uh, if your San Fran Buffalo prediction comes true, uh, I'll be very stressed out. I don't know where I'll be. I might go to Arizona. We'll see. Um, I don't know. But anyways. See you down there. No, it's it, it's very hard for me because you and other people that I know love the Bills and one of my best friends is a San Francisco fan. It'd be a very uh, t- difficult Super Bowl for me. But I would have to probably go with Buffalo for the fact that they've had heartbreak for over the years. I, I think the Bills fans – deserve a super bowl to oh give yeah them something. The, the amount of stuff the buffalo city has been through this year with the shootings with the snowstorms with the hamlin like they need stuff, some like, good news it it's just like it'd be a storybook uh ending to the season for them um with all this stuff but uh anyways thank you for joining us for super wildcard weekend please rate and review this podcast on all your audio platforms click like and subscribe on youtube it helps me it helps cam it helps support the show help us continue this going forward in the season and maybe uh later in the year too we can talk about other sports we'll see 
Uh, but again, all of these lines are powered by Sports Interaction, our sponsor, Canada Sportsbook, 19+. plus. Please play responsibly, and we will see you all next week for the divisional round. Good luck to all of you, and uh, may all the winners be yours, as our friend Gabe Morency says. Thanks, yes. everybody. This has been Drew and Stu, presented by Sports Interaction, Canada Sportsbook. Follow Drew at Producer Drew and Cam at Cam Stewart Live. May the winners be yours and all of the best bets hit.